right, I right, thought right. that people were reading because they wanted to get my mordant wit applied to the question of the school bond. They, I, th I thought that's why they were coming. <laughs> that is not why they were coming. <laughs> they were coming for the sports. They were coming for the comics and the crossword. But they were also coming because they needed to know where they could buy a used Schiffer robe. They needed to know what time Die Hard 2, Die Hard with a Vengeance was showing at the Cineplex. They needed to know the weather, the stocks, and all of that stuff that we had. And we had all that information. And to get it, you needed to get the newspaper. And, and you also had to, as an entire newspaper, your entire orientation was therefore related to facts. That's right. Things that you just delivered as a service data points like things that are real on the ground and then there was a you know then you could have an opinion about something and a, a cartoon about something but no that was so you had that kind of feel to it whereas when you separate out that's right news and opinion in its own zone it's so much easier for opinion to take over and 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 for the loss of that general audience that you always worked for now it, you know it's not as if for example, now the other thing I want is is that is that Daily Star was also a Tory paper. Yeah, there were there the people knew, but they knew that the Tory paper was not going to lie, tell them things that weren't true about the cricket match, weren't true about the weather, or weren't true about the latest bill in Parliament, or weren't true about the details of things. They really did trust them on that, and the internet kind of by allowing this free floating opinion centered journalism to work really do work in reaching subscribers and readers kind of blew that model to smithereens. Well, you can't, you know, you could liken it to a, lo a lot of other things that changed with the internet, super specialization, right? So when I was a kid, somebody would have their dad's nudie magazines, right? It would be like somebody's dad had a stack of penthouse magazines stashed somewhere and you would look at them. And you were amazed. You were amazed that this existed in the world. You wanted to know a lot more. But you did not feel that you were in the place to be very selective or specific. Now, <laughs> what do you want, right? Is there a goat in it or not a goat? How many goats are in it? No, I only like it if it's got four goats. The fourth <laughs> goat is what does it for me. The stuff with the three goats is really lame. And it's real vanilla. And I don't care for it. So as we as it became possible for people to create a bespoke reality for themselves, they became enormously intolerant of things that they disagreed with or didn't want. One of the great editors that I had, a person I owe a lot, Steve Smith, used to talk about that the loss with newspapers was serendipities, right? I, I don't read the obits. I read the New York Times every day. I read the Wall Street Journal every day. I read the Washington Post most days. And the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't read the obits because right. I don't. But in the old days, you would. You'd be flipping and here. Oh, that's interesting. I think I'll read that. What do these, what do the apps or websites for those outlets tell you instead now? If you like this story about four goats, you may like these other stories about four goats. And you can dive in right here and you can swim all the way down to the bottom of it and hear thing after thing after thing that will reinforce your worldview and make you feel good and smart and pretty and better. Not only that, but when we were producing analog products, you didn't know. Like when I would put out an issue of the magazine New Republic, I, I kind of knew that probably most people just read Mike Kinsley's column and The Diarist and didn't well, get to that 12-page essay about medieval Jewish views of of Satanism or whatever. <laughs> there was some there was always some very esoteric and largely unreadable piece. But 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 then suddenly, and I discovered this during my own blogging, boy, you could see if something you wrote suddenly was massively more engaged or popular than something else that you wrote. So suddenly, and not only that, but you get this emotional feedback of of the stats. Boy, I got a thousand people yesterday. I got, and everything is calculated. Everything's in data. So whether you like it or not, you suddenly become, you suddenly start chasing your own tail. You, you're suddenly so aware of the direct impact of specific things that you lose sense of what the whole thing was supposed to be about in the first place. 